Hi all, I am Prasant. Welcome in the series of AWS Solution Architect Certification Exam Preparation Dump. So, you have you have raised to the seventy fourth question. So, I hope you are well aware about the auto scaling group and auto scaling policies. So, this question is related to that one only. So, let's jump on the question. So, the question says a company is launching a dynamic website. So here the word dynamic it means you are not guessing anything because runtime the output is going to change and uh, the required thing is also going to change here and the operation team expects up to 10 times the traffic on the launch date so the traffic is being increased on a particular time duration or particular date this website is hosted on Amazon EC2 instances and traffic is distributed by Amazon Route 53. I am not highlighting this one because uh, it is more towards the handling the traffic as well as you need to you no need to think about the caching kind of concept. A solutions architect a solutions architect must ensure that there is enough backend capacity to meet your meet user demands so basically whenever we are talking about the backend capacity it means there are the enough ec2 instances are available the operation team wants to scale down so main problem is like that if you are not scaling down your ec2 instances the charge will be more and it will not be most cost effective way to handle the scaling what is the most cost effective way and fault tolerance solutions that will meet the company's customer demand so basically here there is only one problem is like that the scale down must be quickly as much as possible so that you are not paying any money for the unused ec2 instances so let's jump on the options but uh, one more thing like that you need to choose the two option set up an application load balancer to distribute the traffic to the multiple ec2 instances uh, of course the application load balancer can help you to balance the load as well as the application load balancer having a capability to, to, do, to do the health check of your EC2 instances. I am not marking it wrong or right but just let uh, jump on the other option. Set up an auto scaling group. This is the perfect way you must have to set up an auto scaling group across the multiple, multiple ability zone for the website and create the scale out and escalate policies this looks me correct because in this conditions if you are using the managed service and managed um, uh, configuration policies of auto scaling group you can easily scale up and escalate down whenever uh, you need to handle the traffic the option c is create an amazon cloud watch alarm to send an email through the amazon this is the very long process this is the wrong option you no need to involve more in such kind of option where it is being a more lengthy. D option is create an AWS Lambda function to monitor the website load time done in every file. This again a kind of manual intervention where you are writing your own script and this is not the right approach that you are writing a script to monitor all your traffic and spinning up the EC2 instances because everything is provided by the Amazon uh, auto scaling group policies. Let's jump on the last one. Use Amazon CloudFront to cache it. So I am marking it wrong because already it is mentioned about the dynamic website. So why you need to think about the caching? So I will say like that the correct answer is this one where you are using the application load balancer and where you are scaling up by using the auto scaling group as well as scaling in. So both things you are approaching, both things you are achieving just by using the application load balancer as well as auto scaling group you are handling the traffic you are scaling up you are scaling down so this is the correct answer so one more uh, slides i have added where there is a elp that is a elastic load balancer where any times we need to scale up then uh, we can add the ec2 instances we can have the cloud watch which will give the cloud uh, alarms and then it will go to the auto scaling policies and according to it it will scale up so this is all from my side so the correct answer is a and b let me know if you are having any confusion thanks a lot